Speed ramping is a technique used in video editing to gradually accelerate or decelerate the speed of a clip. As opposed to creating a sudden shift in speed, speed ramping is used to smoothly transition from one speed to the next. You will have seen this cinematic technique used in many movies and TV shows where time seems to slow down or speed up to create heart-pounding moments and draw audiences into the action. Whether you're filming an inspiring travel vlog encouraging viewers to experience the delights of a new location, a cooking tutorial showing off your latest dishes, or simply filming a day out with your mates, this technique can add excitement and style to your video. Not only does this effect help you accent the moments you want your audience to notice, it's also a great way to help them observe or understand a particularly intricate action, giving viewers time to digest what they're seeing and better understand the story being told. What's more, you can use this technique to create smooth, fluid transitions between clips within a project. By ramping the speed from slower to faster out of your first clip, and ramping from faster to slower into your second clip, you can transition from scene to scene in style. Whatever your use case, to pull this technique off, you'll need to use a clip shot in a high frame rate to ensure smooth playback when you slow it down. If you go too slow and LumaFusion has to duplicate the frames in your clip to fill frames on the timeline, this will result in choppy playback, so make sure you plan ahead of time and shoot in 60, 120 or even 240 frames per second for more speed ramping potential. Simply double tap on the clip you'd like to speed ramp on the timeline and open the speed and reverse editor. Over on the right of the interface you'll see the speed slider, which will dictate the speed of your clip, either in its entirety or at a set point when you're using keyframes. As the speed ramping process happens between two set points on a clip, keyframes here are required. So let's say we want to speed ramp this clip, gradually slowing it down as it plays, so we see Timothy the dog in slow motion as he jumps up towards the camera. We start by dragging out our playhead to find the frame in which we want the speed to start reducing. Then we add a keyframe to set the point of one time speed. We then move our playhead along until we get to the point where we want our footage to play back in slow motion. So just here where the dog jumps up is good. We then add another keyframe and lower the speed. So now we can immediately see that the speed of our clip is going from full speed down to an eighth of its original playback. We know we can do this without worrying about duplicating frames and getting choppy playback as this clip was shot in 240 frames per second and we're editing on a 30 frames per second timeline. So we've got eight extra frames to play with per frame on the timeline, meaning we can reduce the clip to an eighth of its original speed. If, like me, maths isn't your strong suit, just look for this white tick mark on the speed slider that will show you the slowest you can bring your footage down to without creating choppy playback. If in doubt, or if you've changed your mind after you've watched your clip back, you can always change the value of a selected keyframe if you want to make any adjustments to the speed. If you change your mind about the position of a keyframe and where that lands within your clip, simply tap and hold to drag its position left or right, altering where the speed ramp begins and ends. If you want to get really specific here, you can use these nudge icons to jump either one or 10 frames at a time up to the next keyframe in either direction. So now we can see the clip will reach its slowest speed when the dog's face comes into frame. We have our two keyframes in place, marking the frames in which a speed ramp is to start and end. If we tap on the Ease Editor icon, we can literally see the value of the speed reducing between our first and second keyframes. The speed does not drop in a linear fashion. Instead, it automatically eases out of the first keyframe and into the second, giving us a fluid and smoother start and finish to the speed ramp. If you'd like to adjust this easing, simply drag these sliders to alter the speed heading out and into the keyframes, playing your clip back to see how your changes affect the clip. These manual controls give you the creative power to achieve the look and feel that you want. But note, if you're in more of a rush and want to make a change without manually adjusting the easing here, you can always tap on this drop down menu and select an ease preset. These here will affect the easing in 
or out of an individual keyframe, enabling you to get the look you want in no time at all. Why not add multiple keyframes to a single clip, ramping in and out of the shots, really getting creative with your own or the variety of royalty-free clips in story blocks. What's more, if you create a speed ramping look you really love, you can even save it as a preset for yourself to use again in the future, sitting alongside the substantial range provided by the LumaTouch team. These affect the entirety of your clip with just a tap, giving you ready-made speed ramps in your pocket. As always, we'd love to hear from you and see what kind of content that you're creating. So please do drop us a comment below and tag us on any social media posts you publish. In the meantime, we'll get ready with another LumaTouch Academy tutorial and we'll see you right here next week.